guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we've got a quick tutorial for you guys. We're gonna show you how to set up or enable a firewall through your router settings on your computer. But before we begin, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software for a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So in the first step, we're gonna figure out how we can access our router's web-based setup page. And in order to do that, we just need to find our router IP address. So on a Mac here, it's pretty easy to find. We're gonna to go to settings, network, and then with this, we're gonna click advanced. Click over to TCP slash IP. And the one that says router underneath IPv4 is gonna be the one that's getting us to that page. Now, if you're using Windows, Let's show you guys how to find it. So we're gonna open up our command prompt. So we'll type CMD to find our command prompt. We're gonna right click and click run as administrator. We'll select yes. And then we're gonna enter IP config and press enter. Okay, and then the IP that comes up next to default gateway, just go ahead and copy that. All right, so once you know what that IP address is, you're gonna paste it into your address bar and press enter. Now, the next steps are gonna vary based on what internet provider you have and how they set up their web configuration, but you're looking for security, firewall, sometimes it'll just be right here on the home page. Um, so for me, I'm gonna click over to firewall and I'll click advanced. Sometimes you may be prompted for a password. In my case, I need to look on the side of my router. Sometimes the default password is admin or something like that. So hopefully you can find that without much trouble. Let me find my code and we'll type that in. All right, so I've got my device access code pulled up here press continue. And then within this little settings menu here, I can enable or disable specific settings within the firewall. Now yours might be more specific or even more broad than this, but this is a very quick way to set up the firewall how you'd like it. Now with the changes that I've made, I'm just gonna click on save, changes saved, and we are good to go. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions or video ideas that you want us to cover, let us know in the comment section below. Again, if you're interested in your own copy of Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software for a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.